Okay, so I've been playing around with the uh, plastics and uh, trying to create dry coat electrode. Now, I've had a bit of thought about it and I'm thinking there's no point in using activated carbon even though it's been graphitized because the pores <clears throat> are going to be blocked up most likely. So I think the real key is you've got to use activated, uh, sorry, you've got to use graphite. That you're not relying on the actual graphite so much in any way to um, uh, have available sites for ions. So the idea is to have the graphite, the plastic, uh, low melt temperature, but you know, reasonable temperature like 115 125 degrees something like that seems reasonable to me which this milk um, carton plastic seems to be around about that it's it's so far I'm very happy now I did take um, I had a small bit like this um, earlier and I took a reading and it was wow I couldn't believe it was like 40 or 50 ohms um, now that happened to be one piece out of uh, a lot of dust but now I've uh, added a fair bit more plastic to it, uh, probably um, mm, about two sheets of that. So that's about um, 160 long by 20. So um, it, it's quite a lot more stronger now. I can give that a bit of a tap, not breaking. I mean, it's not all over got, uh, it's not mixed through evenly. So I've just been... Um, pressing it in a sandwich press but um, in respect to ohms this is set at uh, 20,000 and uh, we're getting a far higher reading now so let's say 6,000 maybe probably get that about 6,000 uh, depending on where you get it there's 3,000 that's a centimeter apart at this point I'm not doing any square um, resistance just doing uh, a very very initial testing this is basically the second time I've done resistance testing so that's that's 2000 so I think if we mix this I'll continue with this activated graphitized carbon for now but I'm pretty sure that uh, I really need to be uh, playing around with the graphite and then using this activated graphitized uh, carbon on the very top. So as it goes through its melting purpose um, process, uh, the very last part is um, activated uh, graphitized carbon on the very top surface. Uh, there you go. So yeah, a lot of process. A lot of mucking around actually. I've got to give it a lot more thought because I've been playing around all day doing all sorts of things and... Uh, the end results are sort of just, uh, um, well, i got to find a simpler way. I, I, I think the best way to probably do it is to mix it um, in a saucepan. And then you can uh, slowly add the plastic and slowly add the graphite, obviously outdoors because of, uh, yeah, so we're getting some good readings there. Yeah, you get some graphite plumes might happen if there's a bubble burst or something. <laughs> you don't want that anywhere around you. The graphite, some of the graphite I've got is like incredibly messy. Oh, the, the smallest touch on it and you're like, it just goes everywhere. So look, you know, that's below a thousand ohms. We'll go down to the 2000 ohm mark. Right. So look, this is, there's no doubt that we can get that down to a um, hundred ohms. Easy. I'd say. Oh yeah, and a bit of a side note. Um, yeah, so we did try that initially, this packaging foam stuff. It's, yeah, not, nothing amazing. I'm thinking um, it, you just use a lot. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that the milk containers are perfect. Obviously Coca-Cola bottles, you know, the polycarbonate uh, as well. Um there that doesn't seem to be a thing uh not it just shrinks 
not doesn't seem to melt at a temperature right. Uh, these sticks, um, let's have a look for these sticks. Well, you, ah, yeah, there we go. So these sticks here, uh, they've actually got wax in them as far as I know, and you've got different coloured ones. And look, I think they've got different additives in them. That's a bit thicker, but it's also a bit firmer. That's quite a lot softer. They've got, I'm not sure if you can see the difference in colour there. Maybe if I do that, yeah. Um, here we go, we'll put that there. Ah, there you go, you can see it. Um, so, they've got wax in them, and I notice when you heat them up, they actually, uh, if you've ever used these before, that, that little bit of smell that you get, I think, is the wax. So, um, I'm not, not so keen on that at the moment, and also it's not a, a waste product, but uh, I'm sure that works too. Now, um, as for this, in respect to strength at this point, um, it's quite strong, this one. You can hear that. And it hasn't been pressed very hard. It's only just in a sandwich press, and I've just basically laid it down and pressed on it with my hand. Um, so that's actually uh, uh, three, three mil thick. Let's see if you can see that on camera. <laughs> oh, yeah, possibly. Uh, how do I get that to focus? Here we go. That's about three mil thick. So if that gives you any indication of what I've got. Um, uh, pretty even. Um, so that obviously adds to the uh, conductivity, having a bit of thickness to it. Uh, how do we get that to go auto? Something like that. I don't know, it's asking me all sorts of questions. Anyway, uh, so that's where I'm at. Um, any suggestions, of course, give it to me. But um, this hasn't. This has just been in a uh, coffee grinder, too. It hasn't been uh, brought all the way down, say, in a um, a proper, you know, mill or anything. I, I've just that's. I mean, there's there's some fine stuff there, but you, you certainly you can hear that. So that might give you an indication of the coarseness of it. But um, I'm pretty happy with the progress, I guess. I mean, I've been playing around with it all day, amongst other things. But I'm going to snap that. Are you ready? <laughs> well, let me get one time at this. I'll, I'll get the focus up. I'm going to snap it. Ready? One, two, three. Actually, that's got a bit of strength to it. Really happy. Um, really, actually, really happy when I... Sometimes I get to step back and think, hang on, I just had an idea, but this actual idea is working quite well. So um, I uh, encourage anyone to have a bit of a crack at mucking around with it because I think there's something in it. Thanks for watching.